Hi, this is Drew with Daniel's Ag Services with your morning reports. Gray markets all finished up lower yesterday. You had rain making its way through the Midwest, and particularly northern Iowa, that uh, helped pressure the markets yesterday. You had corn and beans finishing up double digits down. We're flip-flopped this morning as the forecast is back to warm and dry for the next two weeks. So market's really been like a yo-yo this week due to trading the weather, and that's what we're in right now is the weather market trying to factor in potential freeze concerns down the road, warm and dry temperatures. So the market's been like a yo-yo. One day it's down, the next day it makes it all back up. So we'll see how we finish this week. Uh, the weather does remain hot and dry. We'll see if the midday forecast change any things with that. And uh, we'll see see how we close up for the week. But Pro Farmer Crop Tour came out with updates from Minnesota and Iowa yesterday. Corn was above the three-year average uh, for yield, and soybean setting pods were below the three-year average. That's not really a surprise with the soybean setting pods. That crop is so far behind over there where it's still blooming and setting pods, and it's much behind where it normally is as far as the setting pods go. So I expect that will rise as the crop becomes more mature and be closer to that three-year average, not above. So moving forward today, they'll be out with final estimates, they being the Pro Farmer Crop Tour, at 1.30 today after the market closes. So keep your eye on that. That could dictate how we open up on Sunday night. Also, of course, the uh, weather over the weekend will play a big role in that as well. So that's all we've got for today. So have a great weekend, and we'll see you Monday. Actually, we won't see you Monday. I'll be out of the office Monday and Tuesday of this upcoming week, so there will be no Wilkins Aguire. I'll return on Wednesday, and we'll be at business as usual. So if you have any questions before then, let me know because we'll be out Monday and Tuesday. Otherwise, we'll see you Wednesday. This material is conveyed as a solicitation for entering into a derivatives transaction. This material has been prepared by a Daniels Ag Services broker who provides research market commentary and trade recommendations as part of his or her solicitation for accounts and solicitation for trades. Daniels Ag Services, its principals, brokers, and employees may trade in derivatives for their own accounts or for the accounts of others. Due to various factors, such as risk tolerance, margin requirements, trading objectives, short-term versus long-term strategies, technical versus fundamental market analysis, and other factors, such trading may result in the initiation or liquidation of positions that are different from or contrary to the opinions and recommendations contained therein. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future performance. The risk of loss in trading futures contracts or commodity options can be substantial, and therefore, investors should understand the risk involved in taking leveraged positions and must assume responsibility for the risks associated with such investments and for their results. You should carefully consider whether such trading is suitable for you in light of your circumstances and financial resources. You should read the risk disclosure accessed at www.danielsagservices.com. Daniels Ag Services is not affiliated with, nor does it endorse any trading system, newsletter, or similar service. Daniels Ag Services does not guarantee or verify any performance claims made by such systems or services.